Hi guys, welcome back to our mats meeting in that child pose. So this 30 minute date with yourself, checking out and checking in with your body. Once your forehead comes down to that mat, we take that deep inhale. And then sigh that breath out loud, your mouth. Taking in another deep inhale. And again, sigh that breath out loud, your mouth. Start your Ujjayi breath, that deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Maybe tapping in the rest of your bandha so your pelvic floor, that Kegel muscle, drawing your floating rib cage upward. So your core, your transverse abdominis is locked down like a girdle. It is an inside job and you are putting that work in. Taking three more breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, ignite through your palms, walking back to your torso, curl up over your toes, drawing your knees together, coming all the way up, seat to your feet. Inhale, rise, reaching through your fingertips. And then exhale, your palms to your heart center, closing your eyes here, and just setting, taking a moment to set your attention for your practice. Just honor your body by listening to it and appreciate where you come on your mat. Taking your palms to your forehead to see how many practice. back down to your heart center. On that next inhale, blinking those eyes open, we're gonna crawl back out to that tabletop and coming into cat cows. It is your breath movement, not even my cues. Inhale into your cow. And then exhale into that cat. Inhale into your cow. And exhale into that cat. One more cow cat. And on your last one, you inhale into that tabletop. And then exhale, we're gonna press that, take that right knee behind that left, kind of cow-cat variations. You inhale into your cow. And exhale into that cat. Inhale. And exhale. One more on this side. And exhale. Inhale, coming back into that tabletop. And then exhale that left knee behind that right. Inhale into that cow. And exhale into your cow. Inhale into your cow. And exhale into your cow. One more cow cat. And exhale. Inhale back into that tabletop. And exhale, walk your palms back towards your torso, taking those feet out to the right side. We're gonna work on binds today. So release those feet all the way out in front of you and draw yourself up, don't dump into your spine. You have those bonds as the pelvic floor which draws your floating rib cage upwards. Inhale, take that right foot and draw it as close to your left thigh as you possibly can. So we work on our hip flexor muscles, so that is what's drawing your body and you're drawing it in. Flexing through that left foot, we're gonna hinge from our waist. Rotate that right arm around that right leg. So what I want you to get, you're gonna take that left palm and bring it around. So maybe you make that bind, and maybe you don't. You do not force anything in yoga. So instead of, if you can't make that bind, it's not this. It's this, reach through those fingertips. Maybe that right palm will grab your left. And you're in your bind. And we're gonna take three more breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last inhale. And exhale. Inhale, releasing that bind. Taking that right leg all the way out in front of you. And then we're going to inhale, draw that left leg, bringing as close to your right leg as you possibly can. And go over your cues, your alignments. So you're going to inhale, reach, hinge from your waist, rotating that left arm around that left knee. And then you're going to reach around with that right. Maybe that left palm grabs that right wrist. Maybe it doesn't. If you do make that connection, inhale, taking that gaze up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. 
two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One last inhale, and exhale. Inhale, release in that bind, taking that left leg all the way out in front of you, drawing yourself up. And then on that next inhale, we're gonna lower ourselves down to that mat. So you can always use your palms, come down to your mat, inhale those knees into your chest, flexing through your feet, taking one last deep inhale in your ball of energy. And exhale. On that next inhale, we're gonna release those legs out in front of us. And our palms not releasing into that mat though, reach and lengthen, and then on inhale, come up into that water ball, reach past those toes. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. And exhale in. One more. Inhale out. And exhale in. Inhale. Exhale those knees back in your chest. Release those legs to that tabletop. We're going to come into rock and rolls. So I'll come to three rock and rolls. And then on that third one, we're going to come into that low squat, that malasana that I work on. We work on all the time. So again, if your squat's up here, that's okay. Your heels are in, your toes are out. Lengthen through your spine and take one last deep inhale. And exhale, keep those palms where you clasp them together, point your fingers, draw them out. Inhale, rise into a chair, not coming all the way up. And then exhale back down into your malasana. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, malasana. One more time, inhale, rise, and then we exhale, palms to your heart center, take one speed in, exhale, fold it forward. Let's bend one knee to the other. Taking in one last deep inhale, and exhale. Bring that to a still, we're gonna heel toe our feet together to where your toes are touching, the heels are slightly apart. Lifting up your toes, finding the three points of contact, and we're always talking about. Big toe mount, pinky toe mount, and hip toe mount. Next, inhale into a half lift that weights your toes, then through your spine, and your gaze is out in front of you. Take one last deep inhale, and then we exhale, come to a forward fold. Here, you can bend your knees if you need to come into your forward fold, not mine. Maybe draw on your leg, your arms around your legs, draw yourself in just a little bit more, taking in one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale again to that half lift. And then we exhale, forward fold, plant your palms on that. Inhale, step that right foot back to your high plank, followed by your left stack, shoulders over your wrist. Drop to your knees if you need. And just take one last deep inhale here. And exhale. Keep those elbows at your side. Inhale, just lower yourself down to that mat. We try to get our chins there first. And then tuck your toes, last baby cobra. Inhale, rise, not pushing into those palms. And exhale, back down to your mat. Inhale to your baby cobra. And exhale. Is that more? One more time. Inhale, rise to your baby cobra. It's like 10% of that weight is in your palms. And then exhale back into your mouth. Inhale to a full cobra. Round out your spine. Take that gaze up to the sky. And then exhale at the heart center. Inhale. Exhale to go over that left shoulder mindfully. Go as far as your body will allow. Inhale back into your heart center. And then exhale, looking a little over that right shoulder. Inhale back into your heart center, and then exhale, release into your mouth. Inhale to another cobra or to an upward facing dog. And then we exhale into a downward facing dog and try to melt your heels to that mat since it's our first one. Bend that right knee. Straighten that left. Bend your left, straighten your right. One last deep inhale here. And exhale, bringing that downward dog to a still. We're going to work on some binds. We're going to inhale to a warrior. One, you're going to take that right to the top of the mat. You go over the alignment, align your heels, that back foot comes. And that angle, we're trying to get our hips squared at the top of the mat. You find your warrior one. Taking in one last deep in you. And exhale, inhale into your warrior two. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Take one last breath in your warrior two. And exhale, inhale, reverse warrior, flipping that right palm coming all the way back. Exhale back into your warrior two. 
extended side angle, inhale, reach, exhale, come to your extended side angle. Maybe that right elbow comes to your knee. You got it on the inside, ground that back foot the mat so your hips stay stacked over one another. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Take one last deep inhale, we're gonna work on that bind. Exhale, so a bound extended side angle. On that next inhale, rotate that left arm and drape it over your spine. As you do so, you'll take your gaze down to that mat. You're sinking into your hips, never changing the foundation to force pose. Reaching under with that right palm. Maybe your right palm grabs that left. Again, it's the same idea. Do not force a bond. Taking in two more breaths here. And exhale. Stay here on that next breath. You struggle if you're trying to find your bind, or you could try what we call a birds of paradise. So when you come into your birds of paradise, how I teach it, hop that left foot to the top of your mat. Ground that left foot into your mat and just come on to those right tippy toes. When you first come up, you might go right back down and I want you to know that that's okay. So we inhale, rise, maybe come back down. You're learning how to use those muscles. So maybe you come all the way up. Maybe you extend that right leg. And then you come back down, you find your bound extended side angle. So you release that right leg back into your mat. And now find your bind. So you align your extended side angle. So you align your heels back and you find your posture. Take in one last deep inhale. And that's it. Inhale, releasing that bind. Now you're gonna come into a revolved extended side angle, twisting from your waist. Now you release that left palm on the inside of that right foot, and then exhale, twist. If your foot comes out of that back angle, you've gone too far. So maybe you stay right here. Take one last deep inhale. And exhale, inhale. Take that palm down to your mat, and exhale. On that next inhale, we're gonna hop that left foot up to meet your right, finding your chair. We're just gonna try a bound chair. So how we do a bound chair, you're in your seat. We inhale, navel to the back of your spine, watching your knees. We exhale, twist from your waist. You're taking that right elbow to that left side. You wanna make sure that right knee and that hip didn't go with it, you've gone too far. Then we release that right palm or arm in between our legs. We wrap that left around our spine. You sink into your hips. And again, maybe you make that bind. Maybe you don't. Do not force anything. Inhale. Exhale. One last breath. And exhale. We're going to inhale, release that bind. Coming into a half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms to your mat. Inhale, step that left foot back. Your right to me to find your high plank. Always stacking your shoulders over your wrist and keep this posture for another breath. You drop down your knees, inhale and exhale. On that next inhale, chaturanga vinyasa, you flow with your breath. You inhale into a cobra, your upper facing dog. And then exhale with that downward facing dog. Fully push back into that downward dog. Inhale here and exhale. Inhale that left foot to the top of your mat. Warrior one, step left foot comes, that back foot comes at the angle, knee over your ankle, heels are aligned. Coming all the way up, find your warrior one. If you ever see me taking a class, I'll promise you this, I'm the last one up in a warrior one. I came to yoga when my body was in a lot of pain. And it does relieve, but you have to go at your own pace. And appreciate again where you come onto that mat. There are people that cannot move their bodies, appreciate that you can. Taking in one last deep inhale. And then on the exhale, we come into warrior two. So now those hips are open, squeeze through your shoulder blade, aligning your body. One last deep inhale. And exhale, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, back into warrior two. Prepare for your extended side angle. You inhale, reach and lengthen. And we exhale, come into your extended side angle. So it's breath to movement in yoga. Again, ground that back foot into your mat, pinky toe mound line. Reaching through those right fingertips. Inhale. 
Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, you hop to your foot step, come to the top of your mat. It's coming to that molasma. Working on that molasma, it's so good for your digestive system, opens up your hips. So when you come down again, sometimes you might be up here. My job is to get you to appreciate wherever you come onto that mat and the fact that you decided to move your body because yoga is not easy. So your heels are in, your toes are out, you're coming into that low squat. Maybe even lift up your toes so you find a three points of contact. Maybe get those elbows on the inside of your knees and take that palm to your heart center, lengthening through your spine. Stay out of your head here. I like to remind everybody, and most of the poses I struggled in when I first started, and in my head, I was like, this sucks, or it's hard. And then again, if that's on your mind, that's exactly what will be. That breath does more than you think it does, and it definitely helps you to focus. Just take one last deep inhale here, and exhale. On that next inhale, you're gonna release that right palm out to the right side, plant it in your mat, and then exhale, twist from your waist, reach through those left fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One and last deep inhale, exhale. Inhale back into Malasana, fully come back into it. Elbows on the inside of your knees, palms to your heart center, and smile because it looks good on you. On that next inhale, we're gonna release that left palm out to your side, 
planted in your mat, and we exhale, twist from our waist, reaching through those right fingertips. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take in one, last deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale back, fully into your heart center. Palms lengthen through your spine, and exhale. On the next inhale, you try to lower yourself down to that mat. Who cares how you get back there, rock back. Who cares? Inhale, feet all the way out. So again, we're gonna gonna bind it in a twist, sitting as sitting up. So be mindful when you twist because your spine your spine is compromised. So on that next inhale, we're gonna take that left leg and draw it in. And then you're gonna take that right foot on the outside of that left knee. So when you come in, it's gonna be where it first we have to activate our hip flexor muscles, draw your body in, and make sure both sit bones are onto your mat. We're gonna come into a light twist first. So take that left arm and wrap it around that right leg and draw that leg in. Inhale. And then we exhale, twist from your waist, releasing that right palm in the back of your mat or bus. You plant that palm into your mat, twisting from your waist, that gaze goes with it. Not looking around, taking in two more breaths, inhale, exhale. One last deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, take your head, your gaze back into center first, then releasing that twist. Protect your spine. So you can come into that again, especially if you're new. If you want to take it further, there's here's one that's further, and then we're going to do a bind that's further. So if you're not ready for that bind, you're going to release that left palm. So now arm, so it's over that knee. So you're going to be bringing that in, and you're planting that left palm into your mat. Or you can take that left palm and thread it through your legs. Inhale. We only twist on an exhale. And on an exhale, you're going to bring that right palm around again, around your spine. Maybe that left is grabbing that right again you don't force anything come fully into that twist inhale exhale two more breaths inhale and exhale one last deep inhale and exhale inhale take your head your gaze back of the center first and then exhale release that bind a twist whatever you decided to take coming back in your center, and exhale. On that next inhale, release that right knee over your left, coming into your cow face pose. If you've taken any of my classes, you know if this is too much, release the bottom leg out in front of you, just trying to align your knees. And just another little hip opener. <laughs> Taking two more breaths here, inhale, and exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. On that next inhale, release both legs out in front of you, coming fully into a staff pose. Making sure you're not dumping into your spine, you're using those bottoms. So on that next inhale, we're gonna draw that right leg in. Hiya. Now crossing that left over that right. So you want you make sure when you did it, you're not on the, that right side. You have to have both sit bones in the mat. And again, everything's a practice. So once you start, the foundation is gone, you go no further to pose. You stay right there. So again, we're drawing that knee in. Take that right arm and wrap it around that left leg and draw that in. Leave it through your spine, inhale. And exhale, twist, releasing that left palm back. And only twist as far as your body will allow. Taking two more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, one last breath, and exhale. Inhale, turn your head, your gaze back in the center first. Then exhale, release that twist. So here you're gonna take it a little further, stay here if you felt that here. Maybe you could take that right arm over that left knee and place that into your mat. Or you take that right arm in between your legs for that bind. Inhale, and then we exhale, twist, taking that left arm, maybe wrapping it around your spine, maybe your palms find each other, and 
and you find that twist, inhale. Your twist, not mine. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking in one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, take your head, your gaze back to the center first. And then exhale, releasing that bind, coming back to the center. And then we're going to come to the cow face on this side. So you're going to release that left knee over your right or take that right leg out in front of you if that's what your practice calls for. Make sure you find both sits bones on the mat. And we're going to take three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take in one last deep inhale. And exhale. We're going to inhale, take both legs all the way out in front of you. And extend, find your stop pose. On your next inhale, draw those legs up for a boat as we're rounding out our practice. So make sure you're not dumping into your spine. If you need your palms on your knees, lengthen through your spine. Find your boat. You can always have your palms out. You can extend your legs. You can draw those legs in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more breaths and you have this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release that boat. Take those feet, draw them as close to your torso as you can. Now round out your spine, wrapping your arms around your legs, bringing that forehead down your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. On that next inhale, we're going to release that ball of energy and we're going to lower ourselves down to that mat. Take your feet out in front of you. Lengthen through your spine and slowly lower yourself. You can always use your palms. Calm down to your mat. If you plop down, that's okay too because you've asked a lot of your body. Inhale those knees into your chest, lift your feet. And take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release those legs and that tabletop palms out the side. And then we exhale those knees over to your left side. So, so when we're sitting up, we are twisting from the top. Heart. Here we are twisting from the bottom. Maybe take your gaze over to your right, and I will always add this at the end of class. Twisting gets toxins out of your body. From side from organs from side to side. Taking in three more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale your head and gaze back at the center first, protecting your spine. And exhale those knees and your chest, flexing through your feet, wrapping your arms around your legs and drawing yourself in. That ball of energy. Inhale, point your toes all the way out like you're pushing on a gas pedal. Exhale, back up. Inhale. Plant heart flexion. Point those toes all the way up. And then exhale, dorsiflex back up. And then we're going to inhale, release those legs back to that tabletop, palms out to the side, facing up. And then exhale those knees over to that right side, trying not to let that left shoulder blade come up. You never want to feel pain, so maybe those knees make it to your mat, maybe they don't. Stop when your body tells you to stop. Taking your gaze over to your left, still maintaining that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one last breath, and exhale, inhale your head, your gaze back to that center first, and then exhale those knees back to your chest, flex it through your feet, wrapping your arms around your legs, and again, create that ball of energy, taking another breath here. Exhale. On that next inhale, hovering over your mat like a stir fish, 
pointing and reaching through those toes and fingertips. And we're not in a here, here either. We exhale back into a ball of energy, forehead to your knees, wrap your arms around your legs, plug it through. Inhale all the way out, reach and lengthen. Exhale back into your ball of energy. One more time, inhale out, reach and lengthen. Exhale back into your ball of energy. Inhale, reach, lengthen, palms facing up. And then we exhale, release, melt into your mat or shavasana. So your body benefits from all that movement, your mind benefits from stillness. And you can stay here. You come into a fetal position on either side, drawing the knees into your chest, using your opposite arm as a pillow. Stay here, meet me at the top of your mat, taking your palms into your heart center. There are two things that will define you. Your patience when you have nothing and your attitude when you have everything. The light in me honors and recognizes the light in you. And I humbly appreciate you letting me guide you in your practice. Namaste. And thank you for coming to class and showing up on your mat.